Brave Dave by Giles Andre. Clarence was mighty and Clarence was strong. He was handsome and tall and he was brave. He was everything grizzly bears ought to be and then there was, then there was Dave. Dave was his brother, much smaller than him. He looked up to Clarence with awe and each famous deed that his brother performed, Dave tried to be like him more. Like this, Dave, like that, Dave, said Clarence. Come on, keep going and someday you'll see that you do everything just how I say you'll end up as brave as well, me. Dave tried his best to do everything right, but one day he started to cry. I'll never be Clarence, not ever, he sniffed as he gazed at the darkening sky. He walked for a while, feeling lonely and sad, through the soft meadow grasses and trees. But on his way home, something strange caught Dave's eye, blowing gently about in the breeze. As soon as he held it, Dave held his heart sore, the patterns, the colours so bright. It lifted his soul like some distant stars that he loved to watch twinkle at night. The very next day, Dave began picking flowers, all sorts of colours and hues, bright sunny yellows and deep berry reds, pinks, purples and luminous blues. He didn't see Clarence, his brother at all, keeping out of everyone's way, retreating mostly at nights into the depths of his cave, afraid of the things they might say. I reckon he's keeping a secret in there, said a chipmunk, but what could it be? It sounds like he's busy with something for sure. Keep still, perhaps we might see. Then one day, Dave felt like his heart might explode. He knew he was left with no choice. So he called all the animals there to his den, and he spoke in a trembling voice. I'm just not the same as the others, he said, as he stood at the mouth of his cave. I'm not very strong and I'm not very tough and I'm certainly not very brave. But there is something that makes me happy at last, that finally makes me feel true. And he held out a gift for his brother to take. I made it, Dave said, it's for you. The cloak was the colours of wild mountain skies, of valleys, the rivers, the birds. And all the animals stood there amazed as they waited for Clarence's words. You made it, said Clarence. You made it for me. I did, replied Dave. Look with these. And he showed him the colours that he'd mixed from the flowers and the threads from the grasses and trees. I've never seen anything like it, said Clarence. It's just so beautiful, Dave. And to speak with such honesty, straight from your heart, well, that, let me tell you, that's brave. To know that you're different, but to be who you are, have the courage to say it out loud, to go out and find what makes your heart sing, well, oh, nothing could make me more proud. Dave felt his body collapse with reef, and all the animals started to cheer. Then come with me, everyone, quickly, said Dave. I think you might like it in here. The animals followed Dave into the den and couldn't believe what they saw. It was filled with patterns and colours and shades of magical lands they adored. Turquoise, orange, crimsons and greens, stripes, circles and stars shining bright. The animals each chose a robe for themselves and paraded long into the night. And now if you go into the forest yourself, don't be surprised if you see... A grizzly or two dressed in dazzling clothes, looking happy as happy can be. Thank you for letting me read to you today. If you enjoyed listening to me and want to read along next time, then you can find the link to this book in the description below. If you'd like to hear me again, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button under this video and visit my channel for more books like this.